Welcome everyone to Ice on ASMR with your hosts, Misha and Michael. Hello. We are playing Minecraft for your personal enjoyment and relaxation, and we hope you are enjoying this series. You kind of turned into an adult contemporary DJ there. That is that that is my ambition in life, actually, so this is a good first step. Coming up next, a little Kenny Loggins to get you through the cold, cold night. I meant to say Kenny G. I don't know. I guess Kenny Loggins works too, but... I think Kenny G is the more mellow of the music, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm sure Kenny Loggins had some good slow songs. <laughs> well, uh, Kenny last Loggins, time. Mm -hmm. Kenny Loggins, formerly of Loggins and Messina... Now a solo act since 1981. Is that is that true? Close. I, I don't know the exact date. Oh. Anyway. I was going to say, that, that was a really good memory for that sort of thing. Eh, you know. I used to be a classic rock DJ, so making this crap up on the fly. <laughs> Foghat, who were also in the plane crash that killed members of Leonard Skinner, yet somehow they survived, is a sign there is no god. Anyway, diamond weapons. Yes, let's get right to it. Uh, we need to create a diamond pickaxe. Um, would you like to do the honors? Um, I will need some wood, as okay. I have very little now. Oh yes, most of your items died in a fire, so let's... Uh, here, I'll give you some I, of these. It looked like you turn threw some at me, but I... They, okay, there we go. Yeah. All right. Now I have sticks. Okay, so, whoops. One, two, three, and one, one. Okay, and I'll make two, I guess, and give one to you. Uh, that would work, yeah. Sticks, oh crap, I keep hitting the wrong button. Stick, 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 stick. Um, go over there, stick. Okay. Now, all right, I'm throwing it at the bed. Oops. Uh, apparently T is not throw. What was throw again? Uh, Q, I think. There we go. All right. So I'm assuming these never break, is that right? They do break, but it, it takes a long time. You can use them uh, quite a bit before they break. And they can be used to break other blocks that other pickaxes can't break, like obsidian. Gotcha. So that... So are we is... searching for obsidian now? Yes, and in fact we won't necessarily have to search for it, although I think there is some already down there, but we can also create some. Uh, and uh. we can do that with some iron. And here, I'll have you... Let's see if I can figure out how to describe this to you. Uh, here, take some iron. Come over to the crafting table. And okay. fill in the bottom three and then... Uh, oh, sorry, not the bottom three. Uh, the middle bottom, the middle left, and the middle right. Middle, bottom, middle, middle, bottom, middle, left. Okay, okay, I think I see what you're saying here. Okay, and that, oh, I, I built a mine cart. Oh, I, not in the corners, not in the bottom right and left corners, just okay. the center. Okay, a bucket, is that yes. what you're going for, yes, bucket? Yes, that okay. is what I'm going for. How many buckets do we want? Uh, I just, just one for now. Um, I have, have one two. and you have one, so we, that should be good. Oh, did you already make one? Yeah. Now we can go collect lava. Yeah, well, this time we're going to collect some water, actually. Let's go out into the rain and collect some water. I wish we could collect some of the rainwater, but it doesn't seem to work that way. Hmm. But let's, uh, let's go out into the middle of the pond here and... Grab some, and just right click on some water. And Got you it. should have a bucket full of water. 
Yeah. Let's just hang out here and enjoy the rain for a minute. This is really nice. It's nighttime, peaceful. There's sheep and chickens. Thankfully, that Hellraiser demon god is gone. Yes. Uh, I love the rain, though I'll admit I'm a little sick of it right now. I live in Portland, and uh, uh, we have we've literally had like the majority of the days be rain every day of December so far. Is that how winter normally is up there? It's about this bad, but not quite this bad. I mean, it's been like taking walks is nigh impossible, etc., etc., etc. I see. The, um, you're hunching in an odd way. I, yes, oh, I am no. crouching. I'm pressing left shift. And you can use that um, to, uh, to stay on the block you're on so that you don't fall into lava or from tall distances. Try it. Try to go up to the edge. Yeah. Ah, I see. Yeah. Exciting. Um... Today it actually snowed here, that's a rarity. Mm. Mm. Now let's dance in the rain. Okay, that's a little... What I was doing, I was trying to do like REM jump dancing, don't do that. Oh, that that works really... too. It's a little more relaxing watching someone do it than doing it yourself. Yeah. What about my little twirling, spinning thing here? Is that working? I, I think, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's, but I'm going to fall off. I need to like left shift and do it. Perhaps we should build a uh, dance floor. <laughs> well, somehow I fell off even though it was left shifting. Okay, rain's over. Let's go. Back to back to building. There's there's no Leviathan God, but take a look at the moon. I don't. I don't even see it up there. That's because it's it's a it's a new moon. It looks huh, pretty creepy. Right. I like yeah. it. Minecraft at night is all pretty creepy. Yeah. Yeah, even without the monsters, I like it. Oh, are, are we... So we aren't crafting something? You're going down? Yes. We've got to locate okay. or make some obsidian. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <sighs> Wow, that was uh, that was really close. Um, <clears throat> we, need so, to, we need to proof that somehow. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's let's do that. So, I to to give you an example of what we're doing. Um, when you pour running water onto still lava, lava that's not uh, flowing, it'll create obsidian like this. Got it. And so I was going to take us over here to one of our uh, lava pools and show you. And if you place uh, water, let's see, why don't you place some water right uh, here? So right at this corner one? Uh, I was, uh, you could you could place it there, yeah. Oh, oh, so wait, on the rock or in the lava? On the rock. Oh, that was a lot of water. Yeah. Uh, now you can scoop the water back up from where you placed it. Only from where you placed it. Oh, okay. And ah. now uh, this obsidian material can't be mined by iron pickaxes. We have to use our diamond pickaxes. Got it. So... Whoa. And 
be careful because uh, be, just be careful as you're mining because even though we've turned some of the lava to obsidian, there might be some lava underneath that didn't quite make it. So you it. just kind of have to be careful. And it does take a while to mine, but with both of us working at it, it shouldn't take too long. Oh, unless the, uh, it all just turns to... Oh, burns up in the lava. That's no good. Whew. This is scary work. <laughs> Um, now, how do I, because, I, so I just mined a block of obsidian, but right underneath it was lava, so the obsidian just disappeared immediately. Yeah, that happened to me too. Um, what you can do is, here, come over, come over here and I'll, I'll kind of show you uh, what, I, what I do. Is, so I've got this, uh, so I've got this obsidian and I just mined it, but then there was lava underneath. But if I build, if I take a block and I build underneath, then I can, at the very least, I can be close enough to the obsidian that if it falls in, um, it'll, or rather, it should go to me instead of fall in. Um, and then you can block it up some more. Uh, I don't know if you can okay. tell, but I just, I just put a cobblestone under one of the obsidians, and hopefully that'll be functional. Got it. Okay. Um, I do not have any cobblestones, I guess, so I can, I can do a couple and then I'll just run away. Um, cobblestone is really easy to get. You just mine the, um, uh, the stone that's all around us. If you want to. Well, I guess that's one way of doing things. Okay. So cobblestone instead of sticks. Feel like we're Zoolander's father. I uh, I, I don't, I don't understand that reference. They were miners. Oh, well, we we are mining. That is that is true. Like Zoolander, like the the, is that about like a fashion model? Right. And you know he visits his dad and his dad and his brothers all work in a coal mine and you know they're like they don't take they don't cotton to his city model in ways right okay yeah i'm not terribly fond of that actor or the uh the other actor that's in it um owen wilson i think mm. so i have just never seen it i think both of them are really really good when they're used well they just so rarely are what uh what can you can you give me an example of when they have been zoolander <laughs> um okay. and uh, the ben stiller show i thought was brilliant like that was just ben stiller kind of doing his own thing um and uh like especially when he plays bruce springsteen i find that hilarious 
Um, why, why won't you left click right there? There we go. Um, Owen Wilson is, I think it is best when, uh, what's his name uses him? Uh, Wes, Wes Anderson. Yeah. What did he use him in? I think every movie he's done. Um, I really liked him in Rushmore as like the PE coach or whatever. He's he's much better as small roles rather than like a lead role. Mm, okay. But then people wanted to use him for action movies and romantic comedies and he was like yeah why not and i can't blame him for that kind of mm -hmm. like ben affleck ben affleck great actor when used correctly but people were like let's make him daredevil and he was like okay was he more comedy before that yeah i mean he was uh mall rats you know um he and kevin smith are good buddies and hmm. um And uh, his part in Good Will Hunting, even though he co-wrote the script, and it's a pretty serious script, but he was like the comic relief in that movie, you know? Hmm. I, I don't think I've seen Good Will Hunting. Hmm. There's probably a lot of, like, I don't know if that's a classic movie, but I've heard about it a lot. Like, one that a lot of people have seen that I haven't seen. Yeah, it's funny because, uh, like, I... This all ties together on the Mallrats commentary. They kept mocking Ben Affleck because he's Oscar-winning Ben Affleck because he he won an Oscar for co-writing Goodwill Hunting. But they use that on the back of like movies and blurbs and stuff to uh, you know to be like Phantom starring Oscar winner Ben Affleck, and it's like he didn't win anything for acting, you know? It's, oh, I see. Yeah. And they were, they were also talking about how, you know, on the back of movies, they always put, like, you know, Ben Affleck, and then in parentheses, the biggest movie he's ever done, right? Like, Ben Affleck, Armageddon, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and they were making fun of him because they were like, has anybody ever put parentheses phantoms? And, <laughs> and he was like, I think one movie did once. <laughs> Well, uh, we have enough obsidian now if you would like to um, take it back upstairs and we could find a place to build our portal. Okay. And then just try not to get eaten by demons. Right, yeah. It, it should be pretty easy since uh, they won't be actively trying to attack us. Also, in my life, I've had a lot of practice trying not to be eaten by demons. It's kind of a daily thing. Oh, well, it's been working so far, at least presumably. Right. Presumably. <laughs> so our question now is uh, where to build our portal. Um, how about yes. this little alcove in the back here? We can carve some of this out and... Sure, this says demon summoning to me. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that noise? That sounds like a demon summoning noise. What do you think is scarier in horror, uh, demons or just people? Um, generally, I tend to be more frightened by supernatural than by humans. 
Um, but it really just depends on the movie, like how well the movie's done. Because there are some like slasher films that if they're uh, that are just like starring or you know the villain is a is a human being. Um, but if it if it's done well, it can be really scary. Uh, generally, it's it's I'm I'm more uh, partial to uh, the supernatural. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Uh, obviously right but it's like all other things being equal yeah i i feel the same way i feel um you know scream was i think a really 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 good horror movie but it kind of ruined horror for like a decade as to like everybody started making slasher movies and only Mm. like self-aware teenage slasher movies um and uh and that really frustrated me because I'm I'm much more am interested in the uh, uh, supernatural sort of horror. I mean, of course, real you know reality can be just as terrifying, but um, I prefer the supernatural horror. Well, speaking of supernatural horror, if you would like to help me build the portal, uh, everywhere there is dirt, um, right here where I've. Um, these these brown blocks here uh, place an obsidian block um, and it if if I remember correctly it should build us our portal oh no break the break the dirt block first oh okay I got you now you won't be able to break the obsidian block without the uh, diamond pickaxe got it sorry I was trying to make you useful <laughs> fight a nickel for every time I've heard that <laughs> okay I, I get what you're saying okay oh and, and don't don't break dirt with a with a diamond pickaxe that that just that's just you don't do that <laughs> <laughs> it wears down the pickaxe and it doesn't increase your speed you want to use a shovel with dirt just so you know um, I don't have a shovel, so... Oh, well, here, now you do. <laughs> Son of a... Oh, well. Okay, now take this little object okay. and put it in your hand. Flint and steel, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And right-click on the bottom of the portal there. And there's our portal. All right. Fairly terrifying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's almost Argyle. No. The the pattern? Help. <laughs> um, I'm going to put my diamond pickaxe in the chest just to keep it safe while we're out uh, exploring. Um, okay. And... Let's see, I think I'll build a couple more tools. There are some tools in this chest if you would like to stock up on them. What would I need? A pickaxe, mostly. I have an iron one, is that good? Yes, I usually keep um, a couple on hand for if they break. I, you can do the same if you if you wish. Well, both my pickaxe and my shovel are really far along on green bars, so... Okay. Well, would you like to go visit the ne- the Nether uh, Nether Underworld? One of those two. Netherworld. Oh okay. no. Just stand here for a second and here we go. Uh-oh. Oh boy. I 
I see you. Maybe. Oh, I see. Okay. And here we are. Welcome to hell. Knee deep in the dead. Just about. I found some nether quartz over here, so I'm mining that for a second. This uh, this material that most of the nether world is made of, uh, it it's flammable. So you can use that flint and steel, steel to light any of it on fire if you if you want to. I use that in fireplaces and such. Mm. Is it Cobb Hellstone? <laughs> well, no, but a good try. I found something vaguely colored differently, so... Whoa! Uh, I did not mean to dig down that far. Where are you? I, I fell in a hole. Oh. Okay, would you like to go exploring a little bit? Okay. We have to leave a trail of torches or we'll never be able to find our way back. Cause this okay, is all... I did not bring torches, so you're in charge of that. Okay. Uh, this stuff is, uh, I think it's soul, soul sand. Um, I think those are supposed to be like um, screaming, moaning faces in it. And uh, it slows you down when you walk over it. Or at least it used to. Yeah, yeah, it still does. Well, now I feel kind of bad for shoving my pickaxe against it. <laughs> it's like we're uh, we're post end credits of uh, of uh, Event Horizon. Mm, I I never I never saw that. Oh my god! We're gonna the sequel to this series is gonna be uh, showing Misha the clash of classics. How are we going to make that an ASMR series? Or is it just going to be a, a movie series? It's just... It's just going to be like a... Like a private thing. Oh, a okay. private dinner right. thing. I see. It's going to be like a would you rather, except uh, just just us. Right. And, and Sasha Gray, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, she was in Would You Rather uh, for the viewers who don't. Everybody knows what that. It's all good. Okay. Uh, this stuff here is glowstone. If you'll pick it up when I break it, uh, sure. this, this stuff we can make into blocks that will glow. So they are a decorative light source. It sounds like you're raining glass down on me. It, it does kind of sound like that. I, I guess it's that's supposed to be the texture of the glowstone. I see some more up there. I'm going to try to go get it. This is a lot harder to do when it's uh, not peaceful mode because um, there are like these ghost things that will shoot fireballs at you and uh, they'll like like this little tower I've got set up for myself they'll they'll knock me off of here and it'll oh, hurt wow. and it's frightening but they make cute little noises they make such cute noises for how vicious they are. <laughs> So, I won't spoil who, but one of the characters at the end of Event Horizon is essentially left in hell to save everyone else. That's how it ends, and so... Oh. Oh, I see. That, that sounds like a... more like a cliffhanger ending than an ending. No, it's... I mean... You know what's going to happen. Oh, okay.
Now, if we wander far enough, we will find a fortress. And that's fun because that has some cool uh, building materials in it. But sometimes they are very far away from where the portal is, and so we may not make it to one this time around, but um, they're out there oh, somewhere. I, s I see some more glass shard stuff, but it's really far up there. Yeah, maybe I won't go for that one right now. Oh, here's one a little bit closer down. Oh, and here's a fortress, or at least a pe slight piece of one. I will trust that, because I don't see any proof of such a thing, but... <laughs> this, uh, this different material here, you see it? Ah, okay, okay. So this looks like the remains of a fortress that's been kind of buried under this nether brick stuff. Mm. And again, when you're not in peaceful mode, these these are fun places because they're swarming with um, fire demons and uh, pigmen and uh, all sorts of uh, fun ghoulies and ghosties. And you can get pig some... Pigmen. Yeah, there, there are pig zombies that uh, live in the nether, and they, uh, they're they peaceful until you attack them, and then all of them attack you. So mm. it's... So if you... So I, I don't recommend attacking them. But uh, without them around, um, this place is actually kind of desolate, lonely. Yeah. More realistic, I guess. <laughs> oh, we've sort of been here. Um, so here's uh, we can we can gather some of this material. This is another brick. We can use it to build some stuff at home. Hmm. made out of brick and mortals. <laughs> Pretty much. Now, we are approaching about a half an hour. Should we go ahead and start heading back? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I have no idea where you are. Okay, there you are. There's a torch. Okay, follow the torches. I have quite a sachet to my walk. Yeah, do you? Got some hip action going on here, apparently. Mm hmm How can you tell? You can't see yourself. I move side to side quite a bit while I'm walking. Hmm. I don't know if I do, or if I do, I haven't noticed it. Uh, is this the right way out? Um, where did you go? Oh, over here. Okay. Oh, yes, okay. Here's your little stairwell that you made. Oh, and if you notice, I don't know if... Oh, you probably don't still have a compass anymore, but the uh, compass does not work in the nether. So the if you don't leave a trail of torches or something to find your way out, you'll you'll get lost for sure. Hmm. Good thing Pathfinder Misha <laughs> lit, has lit our way. I have blazed such trails before. I'm surprised that down here Metallica's Through the Never doesn't just continually play. I, I'm not sure what kind of music plays down here. Do you have music turned off? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, I do too. So if it were on, most likely twisting, turning through the nether. Yeah, that, that's probably what would be, what would be on. Now that I actually sang it, I realized it is in fact through the never, not nether, but... Um, oh, 
Well, nether sounds cooler than, than ever. There was a great comic book that I think lasted two issues called Nether the Maga or something like that. Uh, guy drew it entirely with charcoal. Really unique look. Mm. Whoa, okay, there's a cliff on the other side. Ah. Oh. <laughs> um, I was too late to know. warning you. I'm going to block that off so we can't fall through that anymore. That was unfortunate. <laughs> What a way to end our little session here. I apologize. That's could have made that safer before. I didn't even notice. Oh man. I just keep losing stuff. Did you you didn't have your diamond pickaxe on you, did you? Yeah. Oh. No, okay. wait. Did I store it? Maybe I, I did. I don't know. I I told you I, I was store storing it. mine. Okay. Yeah, I did store it. That's good. There you are. Hello. Ooh, hello. I just burned to death in hell. Thanks. Well, um, hey, but we're back here safe and sound. At least I assume that's you, if it's some sort of, uh... Should have made a doppelganger code word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I guess I will store these materials <sighs> Yeah, yeah, you're a little close for comfort. <sighs> I've seen things. <laughs> Liberate me ex nihil. <laughs> well, uh, sorry about the uh, unfortunate ending, but uh, thanks for joining us, everyone. It has been lovely. Uh, playing with you, for you, you know, whatever. Yes, more. Next, watch Michael die in hell more. <laughs> that might happen many times in the upcoming series. We'll have to see. <laughs> Enjoy our relaxing deaths in hell series. <laughs> Where else can you find such soothing uh, carnage and mayhem? Remember back when it was raining outside? Those were good times. Those were good times. They're long over now. All right. Until next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>